and it's pretty much when you touch it, it just bounces off. Yeah, so I'm gonna teach you how to make this game. The support tool for this, and okay, we need the soccer. And we need this to play your one. This is a two player game, so you need two people to play. Yeah, so let's just start. For the basic controls, yeah. Same for. So the, I'm gonna if the space no if the right arrow key is pressed then it should move ten, change its x position by ten but I'm not using ten I'm choosing seven now I can move it now you might be wondering why I just leave this forever and put it like that but if it will like that yeah it doesn't work because the condition is only taken one time if the cat is changing its x by 10 7 so if we put the forever loop then it will be always checking and the player will move Okay, and I'm gonna put this next car steam block. Now you might be thinking what this might do, but it puts a running animation. You see? Yeah, that's two. One on idle, another one on running. Two car steams. So that makes it look like it's running. Now let's just put three more ifs. We want it to move left, up, and down. It's easy. So, if the left arrow is pressed, change, it has to change the x by negative 7. Because if I put 7, it will move right. And if I put negative 7, it will move left. Now, yeah, it works. Let's put the same next costume here. But you can't move up and down. You see, I'm actually trying to push the up and down keys. But it just doesn't move. We got, so we still got a code for that. If key up arrow is pushed. Then change Y by 7. Now you're just thinking it will just move right. But look, this is Y and that's X. And now see. I can move up. Put that to next costume. And for next one, yeah, put change Y by negative 7. Again. Sorry, I forgot to share the last video. Something went wrong. Okay. So, now change it to negative 7 again. And now, we can just move. Yeah, it's alive. Okay. I really wish I had subtitle on these videos. But sorry, I can't. I'm just too basic for now. Since that next costume too. Now let's just start with the backdrops. We can just stay with an empty backdrop. But this time we are going to draw one. You might be thinking why we have to draw one. 
Because the snow, wait, no, actually, I think you have a good point. Just pick a backdrop. Maybe a circle. Yeah. No, actually, I think I think I just can't draw. <laughs> Better than nothing. Yeah, I just said that to none. No, not like that. Copy and paste that. Okay. So, now put a circle. Nah. Okay. So, you can use the shift button to make this circle even better but sorry i'm not using that don't get mad okay yeah i know my shift button is a long way away from me <sighs> away from reach i can just can't reach it but i'm still holding my cursor you have to do that to get a perfect circle. So good. Alright. Now let's just put a line. This line is from the top to the bottom. And we got a background. Now we also have to color. like that and that in a blue color yeah and that's play you for now I just change this guy to 80 yeah that's better when no, 60 yeah that's better Now we gotta duplicate this player to make player 2. But now, guess what? If I move this, then that also. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. So, we're going to change right arrow to D, left arrow to A, up arrow to W down arrow to S and so now we have separate players that's a note and next let's just change him I'm going to color this players and sort of color like five. Mm. Okay. Now just, uh, you know, just hold it over the color of the scratch cat skin. And it just, you know, turned into this color, which you're choosing. Now, we can just move it around, yeah. Next, let's go to play one. And color him like this. Now, let's just go 
and set up the sack for the ball. But so go to sports and select the last third one. Now put the ball in the middle. The, okay, this is the perfect spot. So I'm just gonna uh, put this, but we have two other problems. For example, player one needs to be here at uh, this spot minus 200 and zero. Now, this also has to be at two hundred, just two hundred and zero. And we also got another one. For example, we got a flip sprite to all. Select this and then flip it horizontal. And just like that. Flip it horizontal, and now it's like facing each other. Yeah. Okay, let's continue coding. So here we need turn and this block and the operators pick random. Now this just makes it pick a random position. And and if we put this in this, then it will just turn random. But we don't want it to be 1 to 10. It's negative 180 to 180. And put it there. Let me see. Inside. Yeah, that's exactly. Now, let's. Here it's forever loop. No, we don't want that. Forever and move 10 steps. But we'll change it to a six instead. And if it's on an edge, then bounce. Now it just bounces. But we can kick it. And Continue. So we have to code here. If I'm gonna put an if condition, and if it's touching, but I don't only have to put that here. Get this all black from the operators. Now, if it's touching play one or play two. This makes it bounce whenever it's touching player 1 or touching player 2. Then, we're going to get it and, and this block again. Now, just 150 to 10. The, the 10 areas card just been delete and put something else. Okay. And... You might be guessing what's next. That's right, move three steps. And if it's on edge, bounce. So, it just kicks whenever it touches. Now, if it touches me, then it just bounces off. You know, yeah. Okay, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like it. Bye.